Hi, this is just a basic example on how to use a pick micro data sheet and find the required settings to set up your analog to digital conversion settings for the compilers library. Okay, so I'm using 18F452 and the X's in the data sheets mean that it can be any value. So the 18F452 would be, or its data can be found in this sheet. So I'm going to go down to the feature I'm looking for. In this case, it's the uh, the compatible 10 bit analog to digital converter module and it always gives you a blurb of a, a, a basic description of what it's about and the uh, related registers in this case there are two two main registers adcon0 and these are the, like for the settings of the of the ADC and adcon1 most of our settings can be found at adcon1 and because I'm going to be setting pretty much all of these from bit 7 all the way, all the way through to bit 0 I'm going to go back to my compiler and just go addcon1 equals percent and the percent sign means that the following numbers, the ones and zeros, are going to be in binary format. So now I can just follow through and follow the data sheet step by step. The if if I was to write eight zeros, this would be bit seven and that would be bit 0. So I'm going to start at bit 7 and it's the format select bit. In this case I want it right justified so that way all of my uh, all of my results are stacked towards the right and the uh, the most significant bits all read 0. If you don't select the right option then all your answers will be inverted. Going on to bit 6 this is the conversion clock select bit you basically want to choose something mid-range, it's a nice safety, I always choose FRC and that uh, determines the conversion speed from the internal RC oscillator rather than the clock speed because you can get some very fast clock speeds with the uh, 18Fs especially with PLL enabled and FRC is still still very quick, it's in the microsecond sample range and I haven't had any issues with it really this is a, a little bit different though because you've got to select one bit or create one bit uh, zero in uh, adcon one and make two bits in adcon zero ones so bit six I need to change to a zero in adcon one it already is and now because I'm only changing two values in adcon zero I'm gonna find out what bits they are so the bit sevens and seven and six, and I need to change those to a one to get the FRC. Okay, so now I'm up to this bit. I'm gonna go back down to adcon one. Okay, so bit five and four are unlimited, unimplemented. They just read a zero. So I'll go back and just leave those to a zero. Now I'm up to bit three. So bit three to bit zero, the last four determine what what are uh, pins are digital and which ones are analog, and what their references are. So if you had a a reference of 2.5 volts and uh, and zero, then if something read 2.5, your answer will be 1,024, and oh sorry 1,023. And if something, but if you had your reference set at 5 volts and something read at 2.5 volts then your answer would be about 511 basically though you you want VDD as your plus reference and VSS as your negative re reference for all your simple ADC conversions so I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so they're all analog inputs on port A and your um, couple of port E ones because there's eight channels all up and this top this top option has VREF plus as your positive input or your power supply and VREF negative as your earth. So I'm just going to make them all zeros, which they already are. Now the pick micro is set up for ADC sampling and from here it's just a matter of using the compiler uh, functions to to use the uh, all the registers on the fly. Alright, thanks for listening.